<clears throat> what's going on family what's going on my guys tuning in tuning in all right this is going to be a video that makes life very easy for you okay so stay patient and listen and you will become better at everything so my men out there right we do this one thing that is very embarrassing for ourselves and we do this one thing that um is just kind of you know dumb really so what it is is we overcomplicate things that are very simple okay so to be you know to not make you have to sit here for 10 minutes before you learn something if you want to talk and pull up on any girl that you think is cute what you need to know is one, it doesn't hurt to get rejected, okay? If you want to be successful in life, you're going to be rejected. But regardless of the whole rejection thing, because rejection is scary for anyone, the more important thing is that if you want to talk to a girl, the best approach is really just coming up to her and be like, hey, do you have a boyfriend? Now... You might think this, you might think that, but in the real world, when you ask a girl that, all it does is it lets them know straight off the bat what your intentions are, okay? Because we live in a world where girls will literally call you a creep. Girls will call you all types of thing in seconds. If you want to just get straight to the point, which you should want to do because time is valuable and time is money, all you have to do is walk up to a girl, ask, hey, do you have a boyfriend? It's very simple. And when you do that, you know, just, dude, it's all it's all done from there, right? Like, the conversation is structured. Just stay in line and you will get your objectives. Now, what I don't want you to do is this. What I don't want you to do is see a girl that you think is attractive and stand there, like, frozen because, like, Men forget, like, not even men, just people, but we do this a lot. We forget that we exist sometimes. And what does that mean? It means if you see a girl and you think she's cute, right? And you're just standing there inside of your head, like in the middle of an environment, like you're still a visible human being that's just standing there staring at a girl. Like, don't be that guy that's just standing there staring at a girl. Like me personally, dog, you know, I've suffered enough where I'm not taking any more losses. Like I've taken, trust me, more losses than I want. So with that being said, I'm coming to you from pain, right? Because pain causes people to grow more than anything. And you don't want to, you just don't want to be there standing like a freaking square in the moment. You don't want to be standing there, bro. Because while you're standing there in your head, the perfect opportunity to talk to her is literally passing you by. While you're standing there in your head, just saying shit, you could be saying, you know, checking out her ass. You could be there just trying to think ways to talk to her. Like every moment that you're standing there is a moment passing by that you're never going to see her again. Because when you see a cute girl, the opportunity is not just going to stop. The world's not going to stop for you, right? So you need to realize the world is going to keep going. You only have a limited time, limited window to talk to this girl that you think is cute. So what do you do? You spearhead it. Don't sit there thinking, waiting for the opportunity. If you think she's cute, you go for that opportunity right there. Because look, you all that time you sit pondering in your head, bros, all that time you sit there in your head, like she's going on with her life. Like she's not there to see you. She's there to do what she has to do. And, you know, just because like you're checking her out doesn't mean the world is going to stop. Like, bro, you only have so much time to make your move. So when you see a cute girl, you pull up and you don't hesitate. I was just telling this to my bro yesterday because he's someone like waiting on the, you know, oh, I have to see if she's feeling. Nah, forget that, bro. Just gun it. Spearhead it, right? The worst thing that a girl is going to do, because I told you the best way to pull up on a girl. I gave you the sauce. The worst thing a girl is going to do 
if you pull up on her like that, it just be like, yeah, I have a boyfriend. And this happened to me yesterday, okay? And it was so unawkward that her boyfriend was also there. And I was like, yo, that's your, like, I just said, what's up to that girl? And like, she said, that's your, that's, you know, like you're her boyfriend. I was like, good shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just so casual. Like, don't fall into the world of expecting the worst because that's going to cause you to be standing there in the moment. Like, dude, like, oh, this girl is hot. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, forget that. Just go for it. You only live one time, dude. Once in life. Are you going to get the opportunity to pull up on that girl? So instead of waiting for the perfect opportunity, you realize that the perfect opportunity is the time that you have to pull up on her. My guys, it's a very simple video. When you see a cute girl, make your move. And that's really it, man. Like I'm over here seeing the same thing over and over again because it's a very simple video. It's not complicated. You know, I hope you guys don't find a way to hate on this. Drop a like, please. Drop a subscribe so you can get more free game and free knowledge from the boy. Because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to put my people on. And this, I don't do this for money. Because I really don't... I Like, I know YouTubers. YouTubers don't make that much money, honestly. So I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this because I'm trying to give free game to the world. And help me do it by subscribing, by dropping a like, by commenting... Being like, facts, you got it, dog. That was a great video. Real. Um, but nah, y'all. It's very simple. Like, just, like, my one pet peeve, bro. Like, when you see a cute girl, my one pet peeve is don't be a square just standing there. Like, in your head. Because, like, while you're in your head calculating math about how to approach this girl, time is moving by. And everybody sees you standing there looking like a square, bro. You feel me? Like... Everyone sees you just like even the girl herself like sees everyone in the room because she wants to see that's just how girls are girls like attention girls are designed to like attention so she's gonna see you just standing there like a freaking robot that's malfunctioning because that's technically what you are because we're not here to be in our head in our head we're here to make moves bro like God and Jesus and Jesus did not live in his head, bro. Jesus was always, whatever came in his mind from the universe came straight out, bro. He did not stand there frozen. Because if you ask me, when you stand there frozen, that's actually depression. Because, because the reason that you're standing there is because of the world conditioning you to literally be a robot when you see people and when you see opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just step out of the conditioning, step out of all of the the freaking Sam Wit wiki in your brain, all the words, blah, blah, blah. Get all that empty mind like a five-year-old and just gun it. Gun it. All right. So that being said, peace out, family. Catch you on the next one. Please drop a like, drop a subscribe, help the boy to grow, help your boy to get famous out here. We out here trying to get famous in the ish, man. I'm 28. I just turned 28 yesterday. How's it feel being 28? I personally like being 28 because it's like when you're older, people just like stop treating you like a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I like being 28 and stuff. It's a cool age, but I'm young forever. You know, I'm, I'm a herbalist, so I'm on all my natural remedies and stuff like that. Um, I do drop shipping, you know, I make money from home because I really don't like people and people don't want me to win. People don't want to give me money. So I'm like, okay, it's a messed up world out there. So, you know, I've been done over wrong by more people than I want to believe. So I'm just like, if I want to get rich, I'm not going to rely on anyone because people suck. So I make myself rich. How? I'm designing a website right now. And I'm creating a product and I'm creating ad creatives to market my product. And I'm going to run those ad creatives on social media platforms. And those ad creatives are going to bring in money for me. And that's just how it goes. So peace out. Stay up.
Stop sitting in your head, live in the moment, live in the present, and stay up, y'all. Monty.